Hi, I'm Rich Heffron, and this is this week's Delaware State Chamber of Commerce Legislative Minute. We're going near the home stretch, the legislative session, which is supposed to end on June 30th. Actually, it usually ends sometime in the morning of July 1st. But that's in question because of the discussion over the budget. As it stands now, DFAC will meet this afternoon. We'll find out if they are going to add to the uh, revenues and reduce the $60 million deficit in the budget for this year, actually from next year, fiscal year 16, or whether you know, they're going to add to it and it will grow. And besides that, we still have the question of next year, which is the deep hole of about $200 million that needs to be answered. Once again, as we discussed before, the question is, are they going to begin that process of meeting the $200 million, potential $200 million hole? With this legislative session, we're going to wait until next year. All that remains to be seen. Uh, what we do know is that uh, there were a couple editorials in the newspaper on Sunday, one by the uh, News Journal Editorial Board, urging the legislature to look towards next year in the $200 million, also asking them to look at potential savings. And I would also recommend you read an article by Representative Smith and Senator McDowell, the co-chairs of the Joint Finance Committee. Well, they outlined the process they're using to actually look at the possibility of uh, reducing costs in government, meeting some efficiencies, and we applaud them for that because uh, we believe that will be part of the formula in meeting our, the state's requirements. But we'll wait and see, and we'll keep you updated. Also, uh, looks like this week there will be a vote on House Bill uh, 50, which is the opt-out the legislation, it's supposed called opt-out, allows parents to have the students opt-out on state testing. It passed the House fairly easily, but the vote's going to be a lot closer in the Senate. Uh, the question is, if it does pass the Senate, then what happens with the governor veto it? And if he does, will the veto be overridden? Uh, at least it's my opinion that it will not be. We don't, we do not believe it's a good idea to allow parents to opt-out. We think it's important that each student be tested, not only for their own parent uh, purposes and their parents' purposes to see where they are in the process, the educational process, but also for the teachers and uh, for our whole public school system. Where are we? How do we measure up against other states? And uh, how does each individual student measure up and where do they need help? All that can be determined by the test. Uh, we acknowledge there's been uh, the process of testing it's been confusing for the last 10 years. That needs to be cleaned up, but opt-out is not the answer. That's it for this week. Uh, next week, we'll probably have, a, hopefully, a lot more news about where we are in the budget process. Thank you for watching.